on YouTube, my name is Cameron 99 and today I'm going to show you how to get add-ons for the Gary's Mod version 14. No, I just made a video on, um, and I just finished rendering it and all that stuff. But this add-ons is a lot easier than how it used to be when you used to have to get all these different actual add-ons for the Google Chrome, and then you have to get all these different files. And this one is a lot easier. There's a different file location than when it used to be in the downloads, but it shouldn't be too hard. Um, so if I have this file, right. yep. So pretty much the these are all going to be in the description in the ad file links, and you just wait five seconds, click the skip ad, and then that should be all good. Um, you want to go to GW Tool and you don't. Which will be the first link, and you don't want to click this download button because it's not actually not the dot zip, it's dot zip dot exe, which is yeah, just shit. So you want to click on the direct download link, and then I'll get a third one, and then you just want to drag this file onto your desktop, and then you can have that, and uh, it's all done with. Same with seven or seven zip sort of. Now uh, if you're 32 bit, um, a you just click on the 32-bit, if you're 64, click on the 64, it's up to your choice if you want to get both. And if I check down here, no, anything down there. Check down here and I find it. This is just how you check if you are a 64, 32-bit. Um, there you go, mine is a 64, 4-gigabyte thing, so it, I'm just using a laptop right now. It's a laptop Windows 8. I'm really hoping for Windows 10 soon. But... Uh, that's how to check on Windows 8. I don't really know how to check on Windows 7 because I've never really used it. But that's how you check. And if you're not sure, probably just get 32. But everyone should have 64 if you're going to play Garry's Mod. Anyway, so just click download on that and then run the setup through. And that should be all good. And once you have both of those things downloaded, you can go to the Garry's Mod website. And instead of having to install all these different add ons and all that stuff, um, let's just say. Oh, let's look for one I might like. There we go. Uh, what is this right? Yep. I'm just gonna look. Okay, so I'm just looking on forms right now, and you can't get ones like this app with background. Fuck you, Bobby. Um, but you can't have these ones with the weird gridded backgrounds because they are dupes or something like that and you can't load them in. Um but let's just say I like this why does someone try not to raise? Like that's terrifying. Uh, just trying to find a actual thing I'll use or so weapon. Uh, so it's taking a bit. I actually find I want to find something that is actually usable because if I find something that doesn't work properly, then yeah, things to work. Oh, I can't see anything that I need for it. So, um, you notice that it doesn't have a subscriber download anymore, so they've like changed all that shit up. But you can look at this and you really want it and you try and download it but you need to be signed in and if you're signed in they'll see that you don't have Gary's Mod therefore you don't need it which is really retarded because the fucking head there reckon people should pay for games. You copy this link and you go to the fourth uh, link and then you, I had a zombie one before, um, a zombie survival graveyard and it actually worked so that's pretty cool. Uh, then you just want to paste it, it'll read it and then you can see I have it. And download 250 gigabytes. And now that I have this file, what I suggest doing is, uh, I can open up my file. So what I suggest doing is create an actual folder for all these different files. And I put mine in documents, add-ons, and here are all my add-ons that I have from like previous different things. And you need to keep that file there for some reason, but you do. It just always regenerates itself anyway. And you want to put this file into the add-ons. So just drop it in there. And then if I open up 7-zip, which I should have had before. So, there we go. So we have 7-zip up. And we have, I already opened it to this file, but if you can't find it, uh, just click up top here, copy this, and paste it into there. And just click enter, but I'm already here anyway. 
and then you look for the actual add-on. I have mine here. Your folder will not have all these unless you download them all. Um, and then I just want to click on this and then click extract. And okay, you probably want to create a second folder for this, but it's not too hard for me. So then I just want to delete that folder file and add-ons uploads. So this is what it would be. And if I go inside, I have the add-ons uploads again. Now hopefully I haven't lost it yet. GW tool and then back to my add-ons here and I just drop and drag this into here. Now I have the zombie survival thing and I can copy this, go out, paste it, and then go back to the top and delete this file. I no longer need it. But you might want to create another file or a folder. So let's say I do folder made and then I just put every single file into it. Yeah, I'm just put all the files into it. So made. This is where all the made add-ons will be. And then out here. And just put like, you can call them whatever you want. And then this is where you can put your previous add-ons. So there's like not many files. So you can just use all the GW tool. So I'm just going to look for another add-on. So I can show you these again. Even though you can probably like replay the video. So let's say I find another add-on that I like. And as long as it's not, uh, as long as it is not a dupe plugin, then it should, or a dupe add-on, it should work fine. Um, this one seems okay. Okay, so you copy the link at the Steam Workshop, and then the Steam Workshop downloader, the fourth link, which this one's third, this one's fourth. You just want to select all this, paste, and then wait a bit. And now it's found 8.4 megabytes. That's good. For an add on, download it, and then I will wait for it a bit. There we go. It wants to get out of my way. Can you piss off? Um, okay, and then we'll open our making, drop this in, making, micro, so that's it. Now that we're going to making, add ons, extract, okay. I don't need this anymore. And then, it's, what is that? I don't remember putting that there, but okay. What? I'm just gonna go with it. I'm confused. What's a file? It's a GMA file. You need the GMA file. So I will now open up, get GW tool, put this in here. <coughs> what the fuck up? Put this in here. Okay, so there was that one. I don't know what this file was, but that was a bit of an error there. So you should just go into this file, the folder that you have. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, it just go into the folder that you have once you extract it, and then I'll uh, put this file from the folder which you extracted into GW Tool, and you will have the Black Ops. Now I can just copy. And add ons made, paste, and then if I go to add on making, I can delete all the shit that I don't need. Okay, so that's pretty much how you get add ons. If it's too confusing, I'll make another tutorial for you, or um, you know, just make another tutorial. But that's pretty much how you get that. Um, maybe I'll make a multiplayer how to connect all that because I was on a few servers last night, it was pretty fun. Um, I didn't actually know I could connect to Steam servers, like when I had these servers, as long as it's a crack server, you should be able to connect to it. Anyway, my name is Cameron and I... A bit stupid of me, but one thing before I forget, um, is where to actually put the add-ons. Um, because if you didn't have that, then, yep. But... If you just if you've seen my first video on how to get Garry's Mod 14, um, then it's just set up. And if you just click next, 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 install, then that's okay. Like uh, if I go into my add-ons where I put them now made, I'm just gonna copy all these add-ons into there. But from here, but pretty much where you need to go is your C drive. For me, that's Acer uh, because I use an Acer laptop. And then I go to Program Files. And because this thing is made by Portal, or the game's pretty much Portal related, then I love Portal. But 
I go into there, I go into Gary's mod, I go into Gary's mod, and I go into add-ons, and this is pretty much where I put all my files. I'm just going to copy all these into here. No one really wants to watch any of that stuff be moved, because it's like a gigabyte worth of add-ons. But, oh shit, that's what my edit scene. Um, so that's pretty much just how you get it all done. Um, I, sorry, I almost forgot that, but for this time, real. My name is Cameron Nana Nine and